Hey everyone, Hamster Sales here with another Diablo 3 skill calculator video. This time I'm doing my second monk build. And the first time I really focused on healing and support abilities for the monk. So this time around I was looking to do something a bit different. And I kind of stumbled across the polar opposite of that previous build. As you might see to the in the title of this video, uh, I managed to create kind of an evil monk. Um, it's more of a thematic build than anything, although I find it it's going to be very functional, I think, too. It has a lot of good skill combinations. But uh, really the idea here was to pick all the skills that looked really evil, um, things that cause your uh, opponents to explode, set them on fire, shoot them with lightning like some kind of dark Jedi. Uh, we normally think of the monk, uh, I think anyway, as kind of a holy warrior, somebody who protects people. You think of the monks from kung fu movies, or in general, monk that just has more benevolent tone to it. But looking at a lot of these skills, uh, he really has the ability to set people on fire, shoot them with lightning, make them explode, snap their bones, uh, summon otherworldly allies that potentially can be on fire and otherwise explode as well. So I thought there was a lot of potential for some kind of evil skills for a monk. Uh, maybe a monk who leans more towards the evil side, having dished out so much pain and violence over the years, he maybe became a little bit corrupted. So I thought it would be kind of a, a fun theme build. Uh, not so much necessarily a role-playing uh, build, because I don't think Diablo 3 is the best play, uh, type of game to be role-playing with, but uh, it seemed like a cool theme build. Uh, I like a, uh, how a lot of the skills seem to work, so uh, without any further rambling, I'll just actually get on to the build. Uh, the first spirit-generating attack I chose for this uh, was the Exploding Palm. Nothing more evil than causing your opponents to explode in a shower of blood and guts, so that's going to be my first skill. Um, it's a pretty good... just basic attack. Uh, it's kind of a combo deal. The first two attacks deal just good damage. And the third one causes your opponent to start bleeding. And if they die under the effects of that bleed, they will, uh, while under the, uh, while bleeding, they will explode in a shower of blood and guts, like I talked about earlier. Uh, which doesn't seem all too holy to me, so it fits well into this evil monk build, I figure. And the I decided to ruin it so that I can hit up to five enemies with the bleed effect and potentially cause massive chain explosions because if uh, the first enemy dies while bleeding there's a good chance the guy next to him is going to get killed by that explosion and uh, if I'm just wailing on people with exploding palm I'll be causing a lot of people to bleed with that third strike and uh, potentially cause a lot of chain explosions which seems quite dastardly to me to be exploding all my enemies in a huge meat explosion <laughs> so uh, that is the first skill to start off the evil monk build and uh, the second one I chose was Fists of Thunder. Uh, going to be another good spirit generating attack. Um, it's something I would plan to use while having a lot of enemies under the bleed effect so I can cause those chain explosions. Uh, it does a lot of dam lightning damage. Uh, it's also going to be a secondary source of damage type. Uh, I think they've mentioned that they're going to have some damage immunities and resistances in this game, especially in the higher difficulties. So you do want to diversify your attacks much like we used to do in uh, Diablo 2. Whoa, a bit of a earthquake here. I'm in Northern California doing this uh, doing this video, and I just uh, experienced a little earthquake, maybe a three-and-a-half pointer. We've been getting a lot of those lately. But, uh, yeah, anyway. But, uh, yeah, nothing too out of the ordinary for this area, so I think I'll just go ahead and continue on with the, the video. Um, so the I decided to ruin Fists of Thunder uh, just to cause more, more lightning damage and in a bit of an area of effect. Uh, so it will really help me finish off the enemies I might already have bleeding and cause some, some chain explosions. And uh, the first spirit spending uh, skill I decided to choose was Lethal Decoy. Uh, it seems, you know, not all too holy to summon up a, uh, an, uh, you know, a copy of yourself that you lure your enemies to and cause it to explode and, and kill them. Kind of a tricky thing. It doesn't seem too monk-like or holy-like to me. Um, it does cause holy energy damage, but I'm not buying that. I, th I think this guy's evil for calling up a, a lethal exploding decoy. And I decided to ruin it uh, for the lethal combatant, which causes the decoy to run around and smack enemies for the monk. Kind of an evil ally type of situation. Uh, seemed pretty cool and to fit very well within the build. Uh, second spirit spender I decided to get was Tempest Rush. Uh, you're able to run through your enemies. The icon for this is a snapping bone, so I hope there's a, an appropriate sound with that, that as you run through your enemies you can hear a nice little bone cracking sound. You're hobbling all your enemies, causing them to move slower as you can see here, 
and while running through you cause a good amount of weapon damage so another way to finish off bleeding enemies I might have infected with the exploding palm and uh, it fits well with the evil monk build of course uh, snapping all their bones not too terribly holy pretty brutal way to take down your enemies and I decided to ruin it for uh, otherworldly speed you know uh, this evil monk uh, possesses a lot of otherworldly power so he's gonna be running through all his enemies at great speed and causing lots of damage and breaking all their bones and kind of in the same vein as lethal decoy I also chose the mystic ally uh, get to summon up a, another copy of myself and altogether, you know, that doesn't seem too un, you know, unholy. He's a mystic ally, so he's no doubt going to be showered in holy light and such. But I did rune him to be essentially on fire. He is a fiery ally I'm summoning, perhaps from a uh, none too holy place to uh, aid me in battle. So that seemed to fit pretty well with the evil monk build. And really, you start to look at all these abilities and wonder if the uh, monk is really all that holy uh, uh, combatant. And uh, for the mantra, I decided to choose the mantra of conviction. Uh, it brought to mind visions of a holy warrior who is maybe a little too convinced, a little too uh, convicted, kind of a zealot. So the mantra of conviction, in in name if nothing else, seems to fit pretty well with the build. And it's you know it's an offensive mantra too, so uh, you're not really defending anybody or healing anybody with this mantra. And I decided to just ruin it for for extra damage. And nothing too evil on any of the passive skills. Uh, I am going to be kind of hobbling my enemies a little bit more with the resolve. Uh, reduce their damage, I'll be able to stay in melee combat too, so functional use there as well. And uh, the second passive skill, uh, not too thematic either, it's the combination strike passive. Uh, gives me an, and it's kind of a stacking damage buff, which is cool. Um, will be very useful in conjunction with Exploding Palm and Fist of Thunder, skills I'll be using very frequently. Uh, the third and fin final passive skill, though, is pretty thematic. Uh, whenever receiving failed damage, instead, you're restored to life at 35% life and spirit, uh, which is pretty cool and fairly otherworldly. Uh, got a pretty evil-looking icon there as well. Uh, not all too natural to not die and just come back to life uh, every 90 seconds. If you aren't killed twice within 90 seconds, you are kind of an invincible lich, uh, more than a monk, I'd say. So... Uh, I thought this would be a pretty cool thing to explore, a kind of a theme build for Diablo 3. And it's not purely thematical either, I think this would be a very effective build based on what little we know about the game at this point, as far as the later later game skills. And uh, please tell me what you think as always in comments and by rating, uh, subscribing if you liked it. And thanks so much for watching.